In this video, we're going to be checking out the 3 Series Octave Reverb from JHS. What I have going on right now is more of a very bright sounding reverb. So there's not so much octave going on because I actually turned it off. I can still perceive just a little bit of it, but not so much. Maybe it's all in my head, but here is the tone without the reverb. All I have is the Carl, uh, Carl Martin compressor instantiated here. <laughs> is go for a Jeff Buckley-ish type of guitar tone with this reverb. Now, if, you've, if you're familiar at all with Jeff Buckley, you know that he was using a lot of reverb and it didn't cloud any of the notes. It just sounded like it was foundational to his guitar tone, like it was just supporting whatever he was playing. And a lot of what he was playing was super melodic and spacey. So that's what I'm gonna try to go for with the octave reverb. Doesn't mean I'm gonna get close and it's not really the idea, it's more like an homage, if you want to, Jeff Buckley. So here's the tone that I have without the reverb. <laughs> for a more ambient type of guitar tone. I usually don't play this style, but I find it very interesting. And I've never had any pedals that could get me close to that, but I think what I have on the board right now will get me at least in the vicinity of something close to an ambient guitar tone. So this way I don't have to do it manually. I'm gonna have some delay. And then I'm going to kick in the reverb. Something else that's really kind of interesting with this type of effect is if you want to do creepy sounds, you can also do that. So if I go with the Gretsch just behind the strings here,
So at this point, I think we can attest that this pedal can do some really wacky, fun things. But can it do more traditional, drippy type of reverbs? So I'm still on the octave up, except that I've turned down the octave effect and I've taken the decay all the way down so I get a really short reverb. And I've cranked up the reverb all the way, so I'm going more like 1950s. Uh, and 60s type spring reverb, or that's what I'm trying to get, go for with this particular setting. So this is without the reverb. to the octave down effect. What I've done is taken the decay all the way out. I've taken the octave, cranked it up, the reverb cranked it up. I'm going through a hot cake and this is the course, the core tone I'm gonna go with. <laughs> cool about this effect is that the octave down doesn't get in the way it's subtle you can still hear it but it's not overpowering what I want to do now is use a fuzz that has an octave effect and it's going to be pitched down as well and I want to see how these two stack up together so it's a little bit of a weird effect but I really enjoy it it has almost like a synth type sound to it so here's the octo noise by Emma electronic stacked with the rest of the signal chain this those clear open notes those open strings to sound just a little thicker with that particular reverb so let's give that a shot and see what it sounds like and how it comes out <laughs> Thank you. 
Now, I grew up with metal and heavy rock, and I never really got into the U2 and ambient and worship and praise type of music. That, that was never my scene, but I can appreciate it for what it is because it's very creative use of space, single notes, and some very cool effects. So I'm gonna try my best to get in that territory. So here's a very simple riff. One of my favorite guitar tones, especially clean guitar tones, is off of Def Leppard's Hysteria album. I really enjoy how clean and crisp they are with some very cool layered delay and reverb. So I'm going to do my best to go for that type of tone. Obviously, I don't have the same equipment, but I want to get in the vicinity of that type of 1980s, very nice and sparkly guitar tone. So what we're going to start with is a lot of compression. <laughs> And I'm going to add in some chorus, delay, and then the reverb. Now, if you enjoyed today's video, there are plenty more just like it appearing on screen now. And I even have a playlist with other pedals from the three series from JHS. So click on one of the two links and I'm going to see you in the next one. Cheers.